Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are all the books that I will hopefully be reading in February. I feel like January has been a million years long. Also, if you hear me congested, yes, I'm congested. This weather in Texas in January has been absolutely awful. It's been freezing, then it's been extremely hot, then it's been flooding, and then it's been sunshine. It's been unpredictable weather to the extreme this month. It is awful and my body has been reacting to it the past few days. Um, so excuse my different tone of voice. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about these books that I plan on reading in February. So in January, I started this, I don't wanna say challenge for myself, but I created these prompts for myself every single that I plan to implement every single month of things I want to read. Um, like little challenges for myself. Like I want to read one book, continuing a, se continuing a series. I want to read one book with disability rep like every single month. So I'm continuing on with that because I felt like that worked really well in January. I will say like some books that I picked, a few of the books that I picked for January's either DNF'd them or didn't read them, but I'm planning on like picking ones that I think I'll actually love, which I tried to do in January too. Um, but it just goes to show like sometimes like what I think I'll love, I don't know if I will actually. So it's hard sometimes to pick books you think you'd love. So anyway, um, let's get into this. Before I get into my challenges, I do want to announce a read along that I'm going to be co-hosting with some lovely ladies here on booktube. So there are five of us co-hosting the Wraith Kings read along. There's Christy from Christy Reads A Lot, Tori from A Novel Life, uh, Melissa from Book Bar and Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life and myself, we are going to be co-hosting the Wraith Kings read-along. So it includes these three books. I know there are also novellas um, and that's not a part of our read-along, but um, if you want to know what the novellas are, you can DM me on Instagram. I can tell you what novellas to read if you would like. Um, but that's not going to be a part of like our live show or anything. But if you want to read this whole series and you also want to read the novellas, or you didn't know there were novellas, there are. So we are going to be reading these three books in February and discussing them on a live show on February 24th at 8 p.m. EST. I think it's on Tori's channel, if I'm not mistaken, because um, she's the lovely, lovely woman who set all this up. I am so happy that more people want to read these books. If y'all don't know, these are my babies. I love them. Okay, so uh, Radiance is like probably my favorite romance book of all time. We'll see. Um, but I'm, I've reread these books so many times. I think I've only read this one though twice. So I'm gonna read it again. I love it. Okay, so let's talk about these two. First two books in the Wraith Kings series. Um, this is a Radiance and this one is Eidolon. I know some people are confused on how to pronounce this, but based on the audiobook, it's pronounced Eidolon. So um, that's what I'm going to say as well. And by the way, there are audiobooks for all three of these books. Um, they're all on Audible. So you can go check those out if you would like. I think I own all of them. So I'm going to be re-listening to them, of course. But these are fantasy romance books that take place in a world where there are Kai and there are humans. So Kai look like Brishin on the cover here. They have gray skin, yellow eyes, sharp teeth, claws, um, but they're like humanoids, okay? They just have like those differences. Um, and then there are the Gowry who are also called like humans, they're humans. So this is the romance between Ildico and Brishin. They're both spares to their respective kingdoms and they've been put in arranged marriage for a marriage alliance between their two families, obviously. And it is their friends to lovers romance with them married. So this first book, Definitely character driven. I know some of my friends who love more action in their books um, don't really love this book because it is kind of slow and it just talks about them like getting to know each other and loving each other in this kingdom, okay? But then book number two, Eidolon, is filled with like political intrigue, magic, there's war going on in here. Like it's a lot. So this is Ildiko and Brishin's like conclusion after what happens in Radiant. So this is like the main main duet. Book number three is The Ippos King, which is a romance between two different characters. So it's not about Ilda Combrishan, but Ilda Combrishan like take a like a side character role in this book. So this one's about Sarah Vec, a human man, and Anuzet, who is kind of like Brishan from book one's like right hand like warrior woman. Like she's um, in charge of like all of the warriors and stuff. And this is like banter filled kind of like hate to love, not really like 
I'm very attracted to you, but I shouldn't be. You get on my nerves kind of romance. So, and these two go on like a little bit of a quest together and they fall in love. So I love this series so much and I am so excited to be co-hosting this with some lovely ladies here on booktube so be sure to read or reread these along with us before i get into my challenges as well something i'm going to be adding to my um tbr every single month is a book club pick that is a part of tiffany and i's book club tiffany from tiff talks pages here on booktube and neverland pixie on instagram we created the beam me up book club where we're going to be reading monster and alien romances once a month and so our first pick ever our pick for February is titled The Aliens Prize by Zoe Draven. I don't know what this book is about. I'm going to go in blind, um, but I don't know what this book is about. I think it's maybe Zoe Draven's like one of her first books. And Tiff and I both love Zoe Draven's books. So we're very excited for this. I'm also so excited just to read with Tiffany and also just super excited to read alien romance books with y'all. Like that's gonna be so much fun. Our first ever live show for this book is going to be on February 23rd. So these two live shows that I'm in are gonna be back to back. So 23rd is first. Um, so the 23rd, at 5 p.m. CST on my channel. We're so excited. I can't wait to pick this book up very soon and get to talk to Tiffany about it and all of y'all. So be sure to tune in on February 23rd, pick up The Aliens Prize by Zoe Draven. Okay, now we're getting into my challenges for myself. So the first one that I have is a book with disability representation. If y'all didn't see my last video that I posted, I did a new releases reading vlog talking about some new releases that I've been reading all month and I kind of got a little bit vulnerable with my anxiety recently. It hasn't been the best and so I really wanted to find a book with anxiety representation and I found one with own voices anxiety rep and I'm like okay I hope this one is good. This one is titled Here With Me by Tori L. James. I found it on Kindle Unlimited. So this one's about Emily and Rowan. Emily is at this wedding venue with her girlfriends because she is the maid of honor at her best friend's wedding. And she ends up having an anxiety attack one night and Rowan comes up upon her. His family actually owns the venue that the wedding is going to be at and he helps her through the panic attack and she kind of like runs off um, afterward and he just he believes like he just met the love of his life but he doesn't know how to find her after that night. I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting to read a book with fantastic anxiety representation and I hope this one checks that box for me. Next I want to read a book that is in my Kindle library. So not on Kindle Unlimited, a book that I downloaded or bought at some point that's in my Kindle library that um, I would like to read. So one that I have is Forbidden Attraction by R. O'Leary. This one I think I heard about from Jessen from Jessen Reads Romance. I think she really enjoyed this one. It's a paranormal one. I think I read last month, I read a werewolf shift of romance for this prompt as well. And it was so fun. And so I've been in that mood. So I picked up this one. So it looks like our heroine moves to this place called Raven Falls and she's kind of down on her luck and she ends up actually rescuing this injured dog. But it's actually not a dog. It turns out to be like a naked man. Like the dog turns into a naked man. <laughs> His name is Jack and he is running out of time to figure out who wants him out of the picture. Like someone's out to kill him. And then he ends up kidnapping her. So <laughs> it sounds fun. Like sounds just like a fun old time. You know, like I'm in that mood for like kind of cheesy werewolf shifter fade and mate romances. A book off of my physical TBR is my next prompt. So I decided to pick up Say Yes by Candy Steiner. This one I believe maybe takes place in the 90s, I wanna say. I think Candy wrote this in that time period. Um, I think both of our characters are artists if I'm not mistaken. And I also believe there is disability representation. That's all I know. I don't really wanna know anything else. I like to go into her books blind, especially her more like emotional ones. And I heard this one is emotional. So this is the book I decided to read and it's actually signed. I got this one at Book Bonanza. So I am so thrilled to pick this one up. Finally, it's been sitting up there for a few months and I've just been biding my time and I was like, okay, I think it's finally, I think it's finally the time to pick this up. I also have a challenge every month to read a historical romance and I vlog me reading this dedicated historical romance for my channel members. And so the book that I read though, in that month, the vlog will be going up the next month. So the book that I picked this month, that I'm gonna read this month, but the vlog will go up in March is An Affair to Remember by Karen Hawkins. There's this beautiful, like step back that's on the back of the book. But um, I've been really wanting to read some more Karen Hawkins. I really fell in love with her writing a year or two ago. And um, I own so many of her books. She might be besides Lisa Kleypas and Tessa Dare, 
I think she's like the third person I have the most books from um, in my historical collection. So I definitely need to make a dent in her books. I'm going to read the summary for this one because it sounds really cute. Okay, so saddled with five unruly orphans, the Earl of Grayley, Anthony Elliot, is at his wit's end. Unfortunately, the only person willing to deal with the adorable little terrors is Anna Thraxton, governess extraordinaire, and the one woman Anthony can't abide. She's too outspoken, too opinionated, and far too beautiful for his peace of mind. A woman should be meek and mild, words that perfectly describe his prospective bride, not the flame-haired temptress who haunts his dreams. Anna knew this job would be troubled the moment she set foot in the door. But it's Anthony who's the problem, not the children. He's too arrogant, too sure of himself, and far, far too wonderfully big and masculine. The young girl he's courting will never be able to handle him, so someone clearly needs to teach Anthony a few things about women. But when the lecturers turn into kisses, igniting a passion they can't ignore, how will they resolve the battle between honor and their hearts? Y'all, yes. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a dedicated reading vlog for this book for my channel members. So if you would like to be a channel member of mine, um, the link is down below for you to join. I would love to have you. You get an exclusive video every single week and you get early access to my videos. So if you would like to see me talk about this book, that video will come up in a few weeks. The next prompt that I have is a book off of Libby. So one that literally just came in today that I plan to pick up very soon at the beginning of February is Goal by Alexandria House. So I first heard about this book from my lovely friend Kate over at the Book of Kate. She got a few of my other friends to pick it up and I was like, ooh, okay, I think I, think I need to pick this one up. So I've been waiting for the hold to come in from Libby for a while. The hold was so long. This is a hockey romance. And I also think it's a nanny romance where our hero ends up getting custody of his younger siblings. He needs a nanny and it's his romance with the nanny, I assume. And I also think there's like drama with his like ex-girlfriend and hers. I don't know, but my friends really love this one. I want to pick it up. It's fairly short and the audiobook sounds Next, I have a book off of an author's backlist. So one of my favorite authors have backlist titles. I've been putting this series off for a while, but I think it's finally time to start Then Came You by Lisa Kleypas. I've not read this series yet. I know a lot of my friends have. I think Crystal loves the hero from book two, like with every fiber of her being. So I need to pick that one up as well. But I've heard amazing things about this series like her Hathaways and her Ravenel series are like two of my favorite series of all time so I need to pick this up I don't know what it's about I don't want to know what it's about but um I definitely need to pick this up I have the hold on my Libby definitely a book that I've been needing to read by Lisa Kleypas let me know if you love this one what's your favorite book in this series I would love to know then I need to pick a book that will continue a series that I'm currently reading and I think this is the latest book in this series, this is a part of the There's Something About Marysburg series by Livia Dade. And I saw this book available on my Libby and I was like, okay, that looks so cute, the cover. So this is Sweetest in the Gale by Olivia Dade, the third book in the series. Oh, okay, okay. So this is actually isn't like a full length book. It's like 300 pages, but there's three stories in here. So you have Sweetest in the Gale, Unraveled, and Cover Me. I'm reading my friend Christie's review for this so there's three stories i don't really know what they're about at all but there's i didn't know there was three stories in here but i was just very intrigued by this cover because oh look at them snuggling up on that bench like yes please so oh it says on there a marysburg story collection you tell i can't see things <laughs> i still think that's continuing on with the series right right i think so it's my challenge okay <laughs> I can make the rules. Next, I want to pick up a book I've never heard about before, an author I've never heard about before. So this time I have picked Bite the Woman That Feeds by Penelope Barsetti. I have never heard about this book. I've never seen this book before in my life, but it looks really good. It apparently is like a fantasy vampire book. So our heroine of the story is in a kingdom where either everyone is sick or dying, weak to a curse that has no cure, except for her. She's immune to it, apparently. She is supposed to marry the prince of a raven tower, but after his father and elder brother succumb to the sickness, he is now king and can only marry someone of his station. He broke all of his promises to me and broke my heart. Ooh, okay. King Snake, king of the vampires and lord of darkness, marches upon our gates and demands a handful of our healthiest citizens. The vampires have always stuck to their lands and never invaded ours, but their lack of food has made them desperate. King Elias not only succumbs to his demands, but he offers me 
on the condition that King Snake never returns. The man I love betrayed me and will feed me to the monster. And this is her romance with the Vampire King. Vampire King is like a buzzword for me. Please, thank you. Yes, gonna be reading this. I'm gonna pick up a hyped book next. I have a really hard time picking up hyped books because I think I won't like them. It's just hard. It's hard for me. <laughs> anyway, so I ended up picking up one that I think I really like because Catherine Cavill's herself recommended to me myself. Like she told me, I, Avery, need to read this book. <laughs> this is Little Eyes by H. Hunting. Like she specifically told me, Avery, you need to read this book when I met her at Book Bonanza. So we're gonna be doing that. I think this one also has anxiety representation and it is kind of like a second gen story from Pucked and her other series that I haven't finished yet. Do I need to finish that other series? Please let me know. But I think it's like a couple from each of those series has kids and then those kids fall in love or something. And that's all I know. I've heard great things about it. I know Catherine told me to read it. And then I know Jess loves it. I know a bunch of other people love it. I know Brie loves this book. I trust Brie with my whole heart and chest. So I need to pick this up. It's been very hyped by my friends. I know it might not have like, like all the reviews. There's only like 2000 reviews on Goodreads, but like it's hyped up by my friends. So that's considered hype to me. Next, I want to read a 2024 uh, new release. I always have like new release videos that come out every month. So that's already out for you if you want to know all the books that I'm looking forward to that come out in February. Um, that video will be linked down below if you want to watch it. That one came out like a week ago. Um, but one that I already have the arc for that I'm going to be reading any day now, I'm so excited for, is Truthfully Yours by Caden Armstrong. This one I think takes place in Scotland, if I'm not mistaken. And our heroine is on like vacation and she meets this hero who I think is a famous actor. And I also think it's own voices for autism representation as well. Um, so I am thoroughly looking forward to this. I'm chomping at the bit to read it. When I finish the book I'm currently reading right now, I'm going to be picking up the art. I'm so ready. It's this author's debut and it looks really good. It has fantastic ratings so far based off the um, like people who've already read the arcs. So I'm very excited. And the last prompt that I have is to read like a monster or alien book. So this one looked really fun. <laughs> I've never heard about it before. I've never seen it before. My friends haven't read it, but I was like, okay, that looks really fun. This is The Nightmare's Kiss by Skyla Gray. I think Mara is sent to like study like creatures. So she's sent to study subject X13, AKA the nightmare. He has sharp teeth, claws, and is constantly shifting forms. Then she finds out that he's really intelligent and every night she indulges the twisted fantasies about the monster. Like, and then she has these like really vivid dreams about the monster. And yeah, it's about them falling for each other, I guess. I don't know. It looks fun. I've never read like a nightmare creature romance. I'm looking forward to this and it's really short. So I feel like when I need like a palette cleanser, I can pick this one up. Anyways, there you have it. Those are all the books that I will hopefully be reading in February. Let me know down below if you plan to read any of these books or if you already have. And let me know if you're gonna be participating in the read along, the Wraith Kings read along and the Beam Me Up book club. I would love to know. Be sure to tune in to both of those live shows. If you don't feel like commenting anything else, you can leave me a um, leaf a leaf emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.